what's good y'all in today's video you will be coming with me on two cleaning jobs i will be going over all of the details including where i got the job from and also walking you through the cleaning process so if you haven't already make sure you like the video and subscribe now i am already at the first job and i can't go over the details right now because it is 8 57 and the job is scheduled for 9 a.m so i have to go in there and talk to the customer do a walkthrough of the house and I also have to take my equipment in. So I will catch y'all up after the job. So I completed the job and as promised, we're gonna get into the details of where I got the job. So this lead came from Thumbtack. It was a carpet cleaning lead for one room plus stairs. And so I charged the person $85. They ended up paying me $90 because they included a $5 tip. But to be completely transparent, the cost of this lead was $48.78 and here's why on Thumbtack they have a setting on there for instant booking so if someone instantly books you then that means you're not competing with no other companies on there they specifically chose you and they charge I believe it's like 3.5 times more than they would a regular lead so I ended up paying $48 for this lead to make $90 and to be honest that is excessive I was not happy about that but we'll get more into my opinion on leads at the end of this video but for right now we're about to head to the second job now one thing I forgot to mention about the first job is that it only took me one hour to do the job and this is a big accomplishment because if you've seen the last cleaning video that I did it took me three hours to do the same type of job which was one room plus stairs so from three hours down to one hour was great so we are at the second job and before we get started i wanted to let y'all know that this was another thumbtack lead and the lead was twenty dollars and 76 cent i believe and i initially charged him two hundred dollars to carpet clean two rooms but he called and updated to three rooms so i updated the price to 240 so let's get started all right so the process that avery let me know is we come in we vacuum first then we come in and we spot treat these like really dark spots we're gonna show y'all. And then we go in with the carpet cleaner. Simple as that. Yep, and that's the process. I like the way you vacuum, girl. <laughs> Time to get the heavy spots. Now the third step is gonna be using this scrub brush right here to scrub some of the deeper set-in stains to kind of work them out a little bit. Now for the next step in the carpet cleaner process, we're gonna be using this Bissell carpet cleaner and we're just gonna go over the entire carpet. So this is the last room. I can't lie, I am tired. It's, I don't know if the AC don't work in here, but it's hot, thirsty, haven't ate anything. So I'm about to go ahead and knock out this last room real fast so I can get up out of here. The second job is complete and to my surprise it only took an hour and 35 minutes to do those three rooms. Now this is surprising because in my first upholstery and furniture cleaning that one took me I believe two or three hours to complete. My last uh, carpet cleaning job took me three hours to complete and it was less room. It was only one room and some stairs. This one was three rooms and it took an hour and 35 minutes. So it's safe to say that I'm getting a little bit more efficient with the work. And I believe part of that is because I'm getting into my routine and finding out what works best for me. And so yesterday I had went to, yesterday I went to Lowe's and got a few things that I felt like would make the job easier. And also Josh and I prepared in advance the day before we loaded up the car, we refilled spray bottles, we filled up the pump sprayer, 
and did preparation work like that, which I also believe played a part in me completing these jobs faster this time. But I'm about to eat and then head back to the house and we're gonna run through the expenses, the profit. We're also gonna talk about is Thumbtack worth it? So today we made a total revenue of $330. We only spent $70 on leads and $9 in gas. That left us with a profit of $251. Now moving on. Is Thumbtack worth it? So Ooh. I remember when I told y'all earlier that uh, one of the leads was $48.78 because they booked me instantly and I only charged them $85. He did end up paying $90 for the tip, but that lead cost $48. So we're going to go over if Thumbtack is worth it or not. All in all, we would say Thumbtack is worth it for beginners just because it's a good way to get your first job, to get reviews, and to get experience. But this is definitely not a long-term solution for getting leads for your business because it's so expensive. There's been times where we've paid a hundred plus dollars for a lead because of the instant booking. And to top it off, you're in competition with four other people. So it's worth it just not long term when using leads you gotta kind of know what to use it for so for us we're using thumbtack to just get our foot in the game and get reviews thumbtack definitely isn't a long-term solution for any business just because the leads can range from three dollars to fifty dollars or sixty dollars sometimes and it's just inconsistent and not uh business friendly at times so we're just using it to get our foot in the game and get reviews so that we can build credibility for when we eventually start using google lsa for the cleaning business and get those direct phone calls now we will recommend using it if you're new and just getting started in business just to get experience which is what i'm using it for as i stated in the last uh, video um, i've never done furniture cleaning before and i've also never done uh carpet cleaning before so it makes sense for me to be on Thumbtack to yes. just be getting those leads coming in and getting experience doing this stuff yeah. until I get bigger. That's perfect. And if you guys didn't know, this is exactly how we started the Junker Movie business. We started off of Thumbtack. It provided us with enough jobs and reviews to move over to paying for marketing and ads. And that's where you want to be. But if you're just starting off, this is still a good place to start. Just be wary of the high prices and the competition. You got to make sure you know your prices. You got to be on it and you really need to be professional to increase your likelihood of closing these jobs because whether you close the jobs or not, you are going to pay for those leads. So that is all we have for y'all in today's video. If you gain any value whatsoever, please like this video and subscribe to us to see more of this kind of content. But yes, see y'all at, at the, the top. top. Special guest on the show today. I did not want to be here by myself, so he came. I don't know what you're scared of. This is a really nice place. I'm a lady. Chicago. Yeah, she's a lady. He had to equip me before yeah, I left the house. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You got no it's room like, or nothing. Yeah. You are not equipped. Oh. <laughs> oh, is the camera rolling? <laughs> hey, note to self. Always take before pictures. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I had to take a break before I got back on this camera. I was hot, thirsty, hungry, tired, back hurt blood sugar low you name it i don't even know what i'm throwing up ain't about me average i just pick up the phone keep counting and adding keep counting and stacking i made the money up here like this shit was some magic stay down be raised and one day you might get the key to the action when i walk in the store they gonna show me something